Today, I'm going to teach you how to install Lime 3DS on your Android device. Lime 3DS is a 3DS emulator and the successor to the Citra emulator. I'll be using a Google Pixel tablet, but you can use any Android device, phone, tablet, or otherwise, that has enough chip power to handle the 3DS. You'll need to supply your own games, and the recommended path for that is to dump your games from a modded 3DS. Other methods exist, but I won't be commenting or offering any advice on those methods. Lastly, I'll be using the GameSir G8 Plus controller for this tutorial, as it's a great way to add comfortable input to any Android phone or tablet. If you get stuck, hop into my Discord server and I'll do my best to help you out. First up, let's download Lime 3DS. Search up Lime 3DS in your browser and navigate to the Lime 3DS website. Tap on Releases on the top bar menu to navigate to the latest release on GitHub. Tap on the Android Universal APK to start downloading. Once it's done downloading, tap Open, then tap Install to begin installing Lime 3DS. Then tap Open to open the app and walk through the setup process. Once Lime 3DS is open, and tap get started and let's walk through these prompts together. First we'll grant permissions for notifications, then tap next to proceed. Then we'll give permission for the microphone. Next is camera permissions. We're tapping allow and next for all of these. Then Lime needs a folder to store settings in. I have a games slash 3DS folder I'll be using for both games and settings. Once selected, tap use this folder, allow, then okay to proceed. You may need to pause here and make your own folder how you like. Next is the games folder. For me, my decrypted.3ds games files are in that same folder already, so I'll pick that folder to proceed. Again, tap use this folder and allow to move on. Lastly, tap next and then continue to wrap up the setup steps. You'll see your added games in the default view here. Launching a game is just a matter of tapping on the game you want to play. Before we dive in, let's set up our controller. For this demonstration, I'm using the GameSir G8 Plus. It's a very flexible and reliable controller for phones, tablets, or even Nintendo Switch, and it works over Bluetooth. Open your Bluetooth settings in Android and tap pair new device to add your controller. For this particular controller, hold the control button and A buttons until the controller flashes yellow, and then you'll see the GameSir G8 Plus show up in your Bluetooth devices list. Tap the device name and then tap pair to pair it up. Now let's go back to Lime 3DS and try this controller out. I'm going to tap Pokemon Omega Ruby to launch it before configuring anything. First thing I've noticed, the controller input needs to be mapped. Sometimes, depending on your controller, this will work automatically, but in this case, I need to map manually, which only takes a few moments. Swipe from the left to open the Lime 3DS menu. First, we'll hide the on screen controls. Tap overlay options and then uncheck show overlay. Optionally, you can also check show FPS, which can be helpful when configuring any optimization or upscaling settings. Then tap settings where we can go map the controller input. Tap gamepad. You'll see every available Lime 3DS button input here. Our next move is to tap each button we want to use for input and then tap the button we want to use on our controller. Note, since the game store has Xbox style ABXY layout, I'll have to mentally swap AB and XY for this mapping step. Everything else is very straightforward. I'll fast forward through this step. When you're all done mapping, tap the back button, then back again, then swipe the menu away to return to the game. My controls work fine now, but I'm immediately seeing some rendering and performance issues, so we're going to close the game to adjust some graphics settings. Swipe from the left again, and then tap close game, then OK to close the game. Tap the three dots in the top left, and then tap settings, and then tap graphics. Then tap the graphics API, and let's switch that to Vulkan. That will improve performance and remove any rendering artifacts you might be getting with OpenGL ES. Then tap back twice, then tap the games icon, and we can relaunch Omega Ruby and see the improved result. Touch input works right out of the box, which is super nice. Saving your game is dependent on the game itself. When the game menu offers a save, your game will be saved in Lime 3DS. If the native 3DS resolution in Lime 3DS is looking a little too jagged for you, you can upscale the resolution for improved visual clarity. Swipe from the left for the Lime 3DS menu, then tap settings, then graphics, then internal resolution. I'll pick 3x for 720p, but you should pick whatever performs best on your device. Tap back twice, then swipe away to get back to the game. This looks way less jagged. As you play through any game, you may notice some slight shader compilation stutters or slight inconsistencies in speed. These will improve per game as the game compiles the shaders needed and then caches them for future use. And that's really all you need to get started with 3DS games on Android. If you enjoyed this tutorial, leave a like. If you want to see a different tutorial, leave a comment. And if you want anything else, join my Discord. Peace and love. I'll see you next time.